Gotta find a cauldron to learn how to work. Where are you off to? Something. Hold tight! I'll see what I can do! Try luring them into the tripwires. Forge you showed up. Tripwire's handy, but machine hunting's a youngin's game. Come on over. Let me give thanks proper like. You're a practiced hunter. Took you less time to kill those scroungers than vanguards to kill one bristleback. So the vanguards came through here? Yeah, 
just a bit ago. Down that bristleback, headed south. But then those scroungers showed up to carve the carcass, as they do. Then another bristleback ran through. I'm telling you, it's crazy around here. So the vanguard went south? Probably. This whole valley is swarming with them. The vanguard seemed dead set on getting rid of them. I see. Hold on there, Red. If you're gonna go chasing across the Daunt, you're gonna want a tripcaster. Not just any tripcaster. One of my make, free of charge. Workmanship looks solid enough. Yep. Uh, been tweaking the design since I left Chain Scrape. More room to tinker out here and less chance of, well, accidents. Did something happen in Chain Scrape? <laughs> well, like someone. Let me guess. Elvind. <laughs> Back when I had a place in town, he took a real interest in my wares. I kept pressing for the Ulven discount. I said no, he didn't like that so much. I can't prove it, but that chuff bucket set my workshop on fire. Felt it best to put some distance between us after that. Cable car operator told me the bristlebacks just appeared yesterday. Do you know anything about them? How is old Karn? Back in the day, me and him got into all sorts of trouble. There was this one time that... Anything about the bristlebacks? No. Karn said true. I just showed up and ran amok. Lucky for me, I've got you and the Vanguard swooping in time to time to save my backside. I should get going. Thanks for the tripcaster. While you're blasting bristlebacks, I think I'll head down to the hunting grounds. Did you know they have a tripcaster trial? Come by later if you want to try it out. Maybe. After I get things under control. So Aaron headed south. I should be able to pick up his tracks with my focus.
tracks. Maybe Aaron's and the Vanguard's. His bristlebacks are everywhere. Sounds like someone's putting up a fight. Another one down! Now this! This is what I was forged for. No letters to fill. <laughs> no boring mid-afternoon patrol. <laughs> Bristlebacks have acid canisters on their backs. It should trigger a chain reaction if I hit them with acid arrows. Thank you. 
I'll keep some extra on hand. Caught me at my best, as usual. Well, you did the hard part. I just took care of the stragglers. How bad is it? Uh, this? Ah, who needs ribs, huh? <laughs> oh. oh, I'm good. I'm good. Huh. Okay, well, I, I know you didn't come all the way to the daunt just to watch me get wrecked. So what's the story? I need the embassy to happen. So I can head west. Erend, what I did at the Spire... What we did... It didn't end the threat. It just slowed it down. There's still more to do. Really? <laughs> well, that's great! I, I mean, yeah, not the threat's not over part. That's not so great. But, but hey, what? whatever you're up against, your spear, my hammer, just like old times. Aaron, I need the embassy now. I can't wait for you to heal. Couple of days rest, if that. Actually, even if you weren't hurt, what I have to do, it's... It's better if I do it alone. Alone? <laughs> now that figures. Aaron! I hate to interrupt the romance, but I'm pretty banged up here. Don't blow your blaze, I'm coming. Oh, this just keeps getting better. Huh. Listen, I'll go to Baron Light, get patched up. If you want this embassy to happen, we're gonna need this sun priest, Studius Wadis. Oh, I know him. I'll clear the Valley of Bristlebacks, then send Wadis to Baron Light. I'll catch up with you there. Well, I guess that's sort of like a goodbye. I'm sorry? You? Sorry? <laughs> yeah, that'd be a first. Where is this coming from? Hey, just, you know, forget it, yeah. Oh, it's nothing. It sounds like something. All right, fine. Now, after the Battle of the Spire, when you, you took off, you left without so much as a handshake. I mean, people like me, we fought and bled at your side, Aloy. You just, or you just disappear? What kind of person does that? Erend, I left when I did, how I did, for a reason. A good one. Oh, thanks for sharing. Listen to me. Life on Earth is in danger, and only I can save it. What are you talking about? Exactly what I just said. Everything living is going to die unless I... fix a piece of technology created by the old ones. And time's running out. Well, I... Yeah, I guess that's the reason, all right? <laughs> uh, I'm an idiot. Uh, Errand! By the forge. I guess that's my cue. Maybe I should go with you to Baron Light. No, no, hey, you're, you're needed elsewhere, obviously. We'll make it without you.
You'll have to handle that one on your own. We'll only slow you down. There's the quarry Thurlis mentioned. machine. down. <laughs> One left machine. down.
Another one down. I don't know what Anora's doing out here, but consider yourself old. We tried to hold off and wait for the vanguard, but one of them bristlebacks charged us. Next thing you know was a full-fledged fracas. Is everyone okay? We lost some good people, but we would have lost the whole quarry without you. Well, at least it's quiet now. Your ears ought to be ringing with a quarry at work, but Chain Scrape's whistle ain't blowing, so we're stuck picking up the pieces. You need the whistle to get back to work? Me and my crew were just little cogs out here. Can't lift a hammer till Owen blows that thing. Cause if we work without his say-so, he'll ban us. And my people have been through enough. Owen holds that much power? He's got the money and connections to snuff our fires for good. Almost feels like we stood a better chance with the bristlebacks. What are you and your crew working on? We're supposed to be working Olven's claim, digging out stone to show our barren light. But the work stoppage and the bristlebacks cut us short. Never seen those blasted things in a dawn before. Where in Forge Fire did they come from? I'm not sure. At least not yet. I need to get going. Stay safe. Thanks to you, that might actually be possible today. I think I've cleared out most of the bristlebacks. Chain scrape can get back to work now. I'll go give Olvent the good news. What he's to. Then maybe this embassy can finally happen.
Get Elvin to blow the whistle, then Wadis to Baronite. Still here, I see. I cleared out all the bristlebacks. Oh, you did? Now that you've recovered from your shock, time to blow the whistle. Oh, there, not so fast. I'll have to send someone out to confirm the kills. Make sure the valley is safe again. It shouldn't take more than a day or two. <sighs> no, you blow the whistle now. These are innocent Osram lives we're talking about here. Surely the delay... Either you do it now, or I will. Ah, I knew you could do it! Friends, gather round. The savior of Meridian has done now it again. What? The bristlebacks are defeated! You. What? Sound the whistle. Chain scrape is open for business! Terrific. Yay. And Olvind has agreed to personally pay every worker their lost wages. Yeah! That's where I like it! Yeah! Woo! Ha uh ha! -huh. Yeah! Yeah! Don't you have an embassy to get to? Yeah. I guess I do. Well, the chain scrapes back to work. Merchants should be open to trade. I should see if they have anything useful before I send Wadis off to Baron Light. Armor is my trick. Am I lost? Bet you fifty shards. They say you get a drink around here. Aloy, Aloy, please have a seat. All right. Let's start off simple. The Tanakh like to say that Machine Strike is a game of pure strategy. We each get a set of pieces. Each piece represents a kind of machine, and each machine is worth a different number of victory points. And to win the game, you'll need to gain seven victory points by destroying the opponent's machines. It can be tricky remembering the details of every machine, so we use these notes to keep track of them. You see, that there is how many victor notes also tell you how far a piece can move, how powerful their attacks are, the distance they can strike from, and of course, their health. Okay, that's enough for now. Let's just play. I own the board, so since this is your first time, usually you get to choose which pieces to set on the board. Pick up that machine piece to. And remember, each machine can only move us. Take a look at your notes if you need a reminder. Gotta move that machine forward. Just needs... Easy enough, huh? Now... Perfect. There's not much else to do for now, so just end your turn. We're forging onwards. Let me move my pieces here. And we're back to you. This time, why don't you try with that machine on your right first? Now move the piece. When performing an attack, you'll be testing your machine's combat power against the opponent's. A machine's combat power is a combination of the terrain and its own attack. This board only has grassland terrain, which has no effect on a machine's And your current machine has two. So in total, your machine's comp. Since my machine isn't the one attacking, it has zero points of attack power. 
And just like, so right now, the different, this means your machine can do two. Did you get all that? Knew you were a smart one. Finish up by attacking my machine. Just attack my machine. Not pulling any punches, huh? Now grab that. See how your machine can't move close enough to attack mine? You can make your machine sprint. That lets it move one space further. Try it out. Downside to sprinting is that your machine can no longer attack. Now some players like to take a risk and over overcharging lets you attack, but it will damage your machine's health by two points. So use at your own discretion. Let's try doing that now so you can see what I That's about it for your turn, then. Now, I'll let you in on a neat trick. That machine of yours, the one closest to me, grab a hold of it. Same as in the wilds, machines have both armored points and weak points. You can see them marked on the pieces. Blue shows where their armor is thickest. Hit them there and you'll do some damage, but not a lot. Now, red shows the machine's weak points. Hit here, let me show you. Rope. Now let that machine have it. Off the board she goes, and there's your first victory points. You don't have seven of them yet. So your machine attacked mine, but go ahead and move downwards towards my remaining piece. You've already attacked a machine and moved your piece, but if you overcharge your machine, you can attack a second time. And by the look of your machine's health, you'd be sacrificing your piece to defeat mine. But sometimes, that can be a good thing. Overcharge your machine to attack mine a second time. Ain't that a thrill? Now, because your machine was knocked out at the, we both get the victory. Good news is, since you're gonna receive your victory points before I do, which means you can reach the coveted seven vic. That's why sometimes losing a piece now. You'll notice you didn't get quite, but you, that means that wasn't so hard. Just remember to all, you'd be surprised yet. I know it saved my behind in the game. I'll try and rem Oh, before I forget, these are all my spare pieces. I want the savior of Meridian to have them. It's a small set to be sure, but it should be enough to get you in on any strike games you find out there. You might even fancy looking out for them strike carvers. They've got all kinds of unique pieces that can turn a game in your favor. Though they'll need the right materials to craft you one. Or you might find them in the wilds if you're lucky. You know, I've lost my fair share of pieces after a night of machine hunting or brew hopping. No need to thank me. Always a pleasure to help out new strike players. Now, if you feel like playing a real game, I've got plenty of other boards. I could even teach you a few more tricks if you're up for it. Thanks. I'll think about it. You know where to find me, Red.
much as I walk in a straightish line. It's like the charred remains of a shop. Might have been Thurlis's. The way to Baron Light is clear. Get moving. You're not Aaron Vanguardsman. I will move only when the captain when says. I cleared out all the bristlebacks, which I have. Captain's orders. So they're okay. Banged up, but breathing, and waiting up ahead for you. But, but I, I was supposed to have three escorts. I'm off to Baron Light, buddies. Like Aloy said, Captain's orders. You can stay here. Abandoned to the riffraff? I think not. Guess you're coming with me then. See you there, Aloy. done, the embassy can finally get underway. If I can get through it, I'll be able to track down silence. Hades. <sighs> Maybe even a Gaia backup. Guess I could head straight for Baron Light. Or poke around the Daunt some more first.